Hey guys, it's Anna K. Thomas here with Red Carpet Report, and we are at the world premiere of Showtime's new drama series, The Shy. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. You're like interviewing me right now. Uh, I, I, I can do it. You want to hold the mic? Absolutely. <laughs> um, congratulations on The Shy. I mean, this is going to be epic. We're so excited for this to come out. What was it like when this script came across your desk? Were you just freaking out? Yeah, I mean, I went to school in Chicago. Um, and I've been there for like 12 years. Chicago's my home. I'm a Chicago actor. So I was really excited to go back to Chicago and shoot. I was really, really happy to be able to do that. Yeah. What school did you go to? Columbia College Chicago. Oh, same as Lena. Yeah. And I think Common even went there for a semester, if I'm not mistaken. So we have like a whole little crew coming, representing. Lena and I didn't go to school at the same time, I don't think. But yeah, totally. Very cool. And what would you say, I mean... We'll, we'll jump into your character in a second, but just about Chicago as a city, and it's so diverse, and it's so much soul, so much religion, so much culture. I mean, what would you say to people who maybe haven't been to Chicago? You know, how would you describe the city to them? I love Chicago so much, and Chicago is a really colorful place, which you see in the show. Most times they show Chicago, they show it as like dark and gloomy and gray, and this show shows the yellows and the purples and the reds and the greens. You get to see Chicago as like a colorful place. I'm really excited for that. Okay, cool. All right, let's jump into the show. Can you tell us a little bit about your character, some motivations, what's going? To, what, what can we expect to see in the show? Um, you're going to see some authentic stories about family and just in a scenario that a lot of people don't know about. A lot of people don't know about the South Side of Chicago, but people know about family and loss and love and loyalty. Um, you're going to see sort of an authentic perspective and a diverse perspective from things we normally see on television, people, from people of color, from women, from LGBTQ. My character is a non-black person of color who runs a, a corner store, who tries to meet the community and is trying to m kind of build some bridges between communities. And I think that's what we need today. Yeah. And as a minority, I mean, I've heard 2018 is the year of the woman, it's the year of the minorities. How important is this to happen right now? I mean, I feel like we need this more now more than ever, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just by existing, it's resistance. Just by having women and people of color showing their showcase, LGBTQ, showing their showcase, showing their voice, having their voice be out is resistance. It's, it's, an, it, it's an amazing act just to have it be out there because it's been not out there for so long. Okay, and I'm sure you're in, with an incredible cast. I'm sure there's some shenanigans, some jokes. What's something like unexpected that happens on set or between takes? Um, there's a lot to do with sneakers in this show, and I'm a sneakerhead. And so all the other characters had these dope like sneaker costume closets where they had like all of these amazing sneakers. So I kept trying to tell the costume person that I was going in there, sneaking them out, stealing them out, and that kind of turned into a little joke on set. Me trying to steal sneakers from the costumes. Okay, so we just turned into 2018, obviously. Would a resolution be to buy more sneakers then? Oh, man. So I got a thing. Every time I'm on another show called How to Get a Murder right now. Um, and anytime I watch an episode, I allow myself to buy a pair of sneakers. And that means that, like, it limits how much sneakers I have. So the more episodes of TV, the more sneakers I'm going to buy. So that's a good resolution. I love that. Okay, and speaking of how to get away with murder, I mean, you've got a lot going on. I mean, how do you kind of balance your life and, you know, keep your personal life in tow with everything that you have going on professionally? What's a personal life? I don't know what that is. Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I am doing a lot. I'm doing an animated series called The Lion Guard. I'm an episode of The Good Place. I'm doing The Shy. I'm doing How to Get Away Murder. So I'm just focused. 2018 is, like, the year of the career for me. I love that. The year of the career. What about that? Right now. Just created it right now. Invented it right now. Yeah. Just happened. Yeah. I love that. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank good you luck. So much. I really appreciate it. All right. Take care. All right. Have a good one. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.